Okay, so what is the impulse on a three kilogram particle that experiences the force shown in the figure? So I'll just give this second to load. I think there's a figure that's gonna pop up. Yep. Okay, so we're given this figure. We know that there's a particle, weighs three kilograms, and we have to evaluate the impulse. So whenever we're given a diagram that's in the format of force times time, to find the impulse, so impulse is represented by the variable j. So j is equal to ft. So to evaluate it from a graph, we just have to take the area um, below the graph. So uh, give me a second, actually. So actually, so J should be equal to the integral of force dt. Okay, so if we're evaluating it for this plot. So, to do this, essentially we see that there's three triangles. If the triangle is above the x-axis, we know it's a positive component. If it's below, it's a negative component. So. We'll do each triangle separately, so we'll say J1. So J1 is this one, and then J2 is this one, and then J3 is this one. So this will equal to a half base times height for the area of a triangle. So the base here we know is two units. So I'll just write the area of a triangle as a half base times height. And the height here is negative 500. So this will give us just negative 500. So if you pay attention to the units, this is in newtons and this is in milliseconds. So this is newton milliseconds. And then the next one, J2 is a half. So the base is eight minus two. So eight minus two, which is six. And the height is 2000. So this will give us 6,000 Newton milliseconds. And then J3, which is the last triangle, is a base of two. So a half times the base, which is two times negative 500, which is the height. We also get negative 500 Newton milliseconds. So all we have to do is just sum up, just add up all of these together, J1 plus J2 plus J3, and we end up with 5,000 Newton milliseconds. We can just convert this into Newton seconds, and that would be divided by 1,000 to get Newton seconds, because there's 1,000 milliseconds in uh, one second. So 1,000 milliseconds in one second, we divide by 1,000. So that's our final answer. Let me just write that all more clearly. So five, and our final answer is five newtons seconds for J, for the impulse. So they have the same equation, J equals FT. They go through, calculate the area of the triangle and they get the final answer of five newton seconds. So the solution, the attempted solution by the student is correct. Great job. Let's go to the next question.